Welcome to Mind, Mood and Food podcast. I'm Margaret Bell, founder of Naturally Empowered Health, gut health expert, anti-diet coach and author of True Taste. And I'm here with my partner in crime, Adele Derbyshire. Hello, I am the founder of Find Your Inner Sparkle. I am a yoga teacher and a spiritual teacher and I help people to reduce anxiety, stress and overwhelm and to fall back in love with themselves and gain confidence. Hello everyone and this week's podcast, Stop Bloody Procrastinating. So let's get cracking on. And stop bloody procrastinating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we um we need to dive straight into this one, I think. Absolutely. Procrastination. It makes me want to sing procrastination. It's not really a song, it's like nope. fascination or something, but it it brings that to mind for some reason. Um yeah, procrastination, do you do it? Do you find yourself doing it? Mm. Or are you pretty uh, good with your willpower and your self-control? your organization oh crikey i'm gonna be blatantly <laughs> honest i can procrastinate at times I, I honestly think for myself personally and this is a whole different subject but it's to do where i am in my monthly cycle mm. i think that's all tied in with that but as i say mm. that's a topic we can talk about <laughs> anyway yeah I yeah. diverse, I procrastinate. Yeah. Um, but yeah. No, distraction, distraction <laughs> is, a, is part of procrastination, really, Absolutely. you know, isn't it? Because yeah. it's a bit like squirrel. Yeah. Um, that's what, you know, we can touch on the different reasons why people might procrastinate. Um, I am just going to write down what you just said, though, because we were just talking there before we went on air to record about different topics we want to hear from you guys though what do you want to learn what do you want us to chat about we would love to know mm -hmm. um procrastination i was thinking about this in terms of like why do we do it what makes us do it um because obviously procrastination means we're not doing something that we want to do or we should be doing in inverted commas mm -hmm. you know without shudding all over ourselves it's something that we want to do and we've set ourselves um goals around and we've got a desire to do something otherwise you know the procrastination wouldn't be a thing would it yeah. um and i think the first thing that springs to mind is because as human beings we kind of like the easy option we kind of like to take easy street and so this will filter on to other reasons why we procrastinate and depending on what it is that we want to do or we've got to do, why we might put it off. Yeah. But it's all too easy, isn't it, to let that little voice go, nah, you don't want to be going oh, for that run today. Yes. <laughs> you know, I know you want to lose a stone. I know you want to get fit. I know you want to get into your size, whatever, for your holidays. But yeah, we'll, we'll start tomorrow. It's that yeah. famous thing, isn't oh, it? You'll know tomorrow. when people wanting to change their eating habits or, you know, we'll go, we can't start on a Friday, we'll start on a Monday. And we come up with yeah. all of the excuses why we want to put it off because there's not a nice round number in, in the day that we're choosing or um, because it feels really nice to stay in bed. You know, you might think, I'm going to join the 5am club, I'm going to get up early, I'm going to do my miracle morning routine. Mm. But not today. Not today, yeah. Not today, and I think... Tomorrow oh. never comes, does it? No, never does. And um, I was at a, a walking networking yesterday um, and a few ladies did make comment that it's coming up to the end of the year for your tax returns. Yes, uh, this is on my notes. <laughs> it's on my notes because I actually did mine at the weekend. Yeah. But it's a big one that I do procrastinate mm. over. Yeah. And... Mm. I am not being in this position again next year. No. So I have a goal. I have a desire not to be going through this. Oh God, it's last minute. And because you, if you only submit it last minute, of course the helpline is rammed. There's yeah. so much pain around it. Like I need to pay some national insurance contributions mm -hmm. uh, because previously I was part of PA, PAYE system and things like that. So it was fine, yeah. but um, I need to sort that out this year and I 
don't know really how it works because I, I think I need to wait for them to bill me. But if you yeah. leave it till the last minute, you don't have that time because it takes them 72 hours to process. So even though I did it at the weekend, it's still very last minute and I'm still a bit like, oh, what do I do? Yeah. I, I, you know what? This year, here goes the little silver halo above my head. Um, I actually did it before uh, Christmas because I just thought I'm not doing that's what this I normally same do. situation yeah, again. I normally like it to be off my shoulders before the yeah. Christmas festive period starts but you still know because they set the deadline the end of January I think it's worse isn't it if they said it was yeah. the end of the 31st of December the end of the year then you, you'd, you'd have to have it done but yeah so that's one that I do procrastinate over but I'm not doing this year so I'm actually nearly up to speed with my accounts for this year already so that you know it's only going to be another few months before the end of the actual bloody yep. tax year again so I'm going to be like getting it done by summer that's my deadline so yeah. might not pay it you know why give it why give the yeah money, but, you know but just have but it all done that, and ready yeah. to submit anyway so that I can just send it at any time yeah. but just the the whole thing about um with that one it's because it's not nice it's because yeah. it's like a really yucky job I mean it's, it's something that you find <laughs> boring <laughs> it's so boring and it's um I find it stressful because you've got the whole thing of, you know, are you including things? Have you forgotten yeah. something? Um, you know, or the whole like, what can you include? What can't you include? You know, that's something that I'm always mm -hmm. learning with. So one of the things um, I heard at a network meeting years ago was eat the frog. Have you heard of that? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, and get, it was it was called Eat That Frog. We had this little wooden spoon. Way. Yeah, and what we did was we networked, but also you spent some time doing a task for your business that you really didn't like doing. Could be just getting your accounts up to date that week or organising um, some content that you need to plan that you've been putting off. Whatever it was that the thing that's in the too hard box, you don't really want to do it. Um, get that bumped up the list and get it out the way. So that's what that means. Eat That Frog is just like, just just bloody do it we used to call it jfdi at work mm. yeah just something else do it <laughs> <laughs> so just something expletive do it please. yeah no. this podcast is sponsored by swearing and expletives isn't it <laughs> but there's a there's a little quote that i wrote down is procrastination is the thief of time because oh. you know we don't always swap the thing that we should be doing for something else we tend to we might like think about it so by the time you've thought about it for ages say if you're procrastinating um doing laundry and you're like oh, you walk past the basket and you go do it tomorrow mm. i can't be bothered i just want to sit down and watch. but then it's kind of like on your mind and then every yeah. time you walk past and then it's just getting worse so it's building up and building up and then it takes way longer like yeah. at the weekend and then it's taking up all time when you could have been doing something more fun instead of just that 10 minute job of just doing it there and then mm -hmm. um so it does tend to like steal time because it's just this delaying the inevitable yeah um and you know putting off until tomorrow what can be done today Did today oh there's lots classic of sayings, one. isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> Put off to tomorrow what can be done today so i i do try and do the difficult tasks first mm. difficult as in because they're hard or difficult because they're something you don't fancy doing yeah. um just getting that further up the to-do list and also if it's a task that can be done in two or three minutes yeah it's not worth walking past it it's not worth thinking the thought i'll do it later mm. even sometimes a quick reply to an email have you ever opened an email or a whatsapp message and you think I'll do that later, but then you forget. You you forget oh, yes. to go back, and then you're yes. like, oh, I'm "So sorry, I totally missed your message. It's been weeks." Um, and then again, it's taking up all this extra time. You have to reread the message, go back, apologize, and you could have just gone bump, 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 and yeah. just sent. Even if it's a quick holding message, you know, just yeah. like, "I'm really sorry, I'm in the middle of something. I'll get back to you later." Yeah, that that's something that I'm starting to do more now with messages because typing just takes too long. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Um, that I am voice message now, exactly I? Yeah. yeah voice message so much quicker so much easier mm. and personally I find it so much more personal yeah um, I voice messages yeah yeah people Sometimes can actually if, get more than what you're saying than yeah from a, from if you're like with other people you'd be like yeah. oh I'd love to do one but I'm just watching the telly I need to yeah. type it out but yeah if you're on your own you can just whiz off a quick voice message mm. it's it's really good definitely 
So yeah, I think just having a think about why you're procrastinating, because obviously this is a topic that could be about anything. Um, mm -hmm. It could be that people are putting off changing their lifestyle and, you know, living a little bit more of a healthy lifestyle. You know, why is that? Is it because, you yeah. you know, it's too hard and you really don't want to do it and you you enjoy doing all the bad things? Um, or is it because you don't have uh, enough knowledge? So it mm. could be sometimes we procrastinate doing a task that we think is too hard um, or starting a new habit that we think is too hard, but it's because we don't have some knowledge, so we don't know yeah. how to do it. And then once you, at least if you understand why you're procrastinating, instead of it just drifting on aimlessly, you can actually um, take some action now that might not be the thing, but yeah. it might be moving you towards the thing. So that might be seeking help and advice or going on a course or, you know, just learning a little bit more um, about it. Then before you know it, you then do the thing because you're now like, oh, I understand how to do it. Um, sometimes things like... Um, building a website or for me um the mail systems like MailChimp and MailerLite yeah. I procrastinated on that for a little while back in the beginning because I literally remember feeling physically sick at the thought just staring at the tech thinking I can't do this I mm. can't build an email sequence or an automated use an automated system it's just too complicated I don't understand it um, and then as soon as I started researching and seeking help, even just some YouTube videos, before you know it, you're going, oh, because they teach you some steps, you've got to have yeah. a little play. And then it becomes like second nature, you know, it so does, sometimes yeah. it's knowledge that's, that's the, the thing that's stopping you. Definitely. I think for a lot of people, it's that fear of the unknown, because I know mm. when I um, I coach my clients, quite a lot of the time, um and this, you might come across this as well, Adele, it's that feeling that things are going to change, and when change happens, how are they going to deal with it? Mm. And how are other people around you going to deal yes. with it? You know, if you change, that can be scary as well, can't yeah. it? So, yeah, yeah, it could be fear um, that's driving the procrastination, so have a look at that, you know, do you need some help around that? Um, it could be that it's just a lack of effort or motivation you know that kind of like cbm yeah. seeing as we're yeah. swearing a lot today <laughs> can't be asked so if you're feeling like oh can't be bothered i've had um a couple of clients like this this week and also mm. a child <laughs> my <laughs> child um so it's come up a lot this week this one um you know with younger people particularly they but they're like oh go next week i just can't be bothered i'm like yeah you know, I'd rather stay in bed. I don't want to do the thing. And if that's the case, then, mm. you know, at least if you know that's your driver or lack of drive, um, you know, I'm somebody that's really quite self-motivated. So yeah. if I say I'm going to do something, I'm, I'm going to do it. But if you're not like that and you recognize that, the more that you know yourself, you can, again, you can take some action. So it might be that you need someone to help you do the thing so yeah that could that be working with a coach you know yeah. like like us it could be working with a coach it could be um if it's like getting your ass to the gym it could be like you get yourself a pt so they're on the phone going i'm outside why are you not here with yeah. your trainers on Where are you? <laughs> the reason pts and coaches work is that accountability it, it's not because there's not a lot um not enough information out there for somebody to do the thing you know mm. if you can be bothered um reading all the books and studying and watching videos and and getting courses that you can just do yourself then you know there wouldn't be any need oftentimes for coaches and personal trainers and things mm. we're there to help you know um not only to fast track that information because you might not have all the time that like we've spent studying our craft but also to to say come on yeah get get the thing done you know and then we get that, that kick up the ass yeah you know that's why um these groups work where you're accountable and you've got to kind of yeah. show up next week and say you know have you done the thing that you said you were going to do or have you not and it yeah. makes people that are a little bit um more lacking in that self-motivation it's a real big help to have that support group and also really if you does. do fall if you do fail you've got people there to say come on don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. let's give it another go and we'll see you next week and um you know give give you that moral support yeah yeah and i know this won't be going out till later on in the year 
but we are at that time of year, we're actually recording this in January, that I'm finding because we're getting to the end of January that people are feeling a little bit flat. Mm, yeah, I'm just checking my uh, my list. It's going out at the early April. So early okay. April, but we're in lovely springtime. Oh. We're coming up to, I don't even God know when Easter is this year, but Easter. They, so if you're <laughs> listening to this, you will not be feeling flat. You'll be feeling spring-like. No, and, absolutely. Uh, yeah, but at the minute, yeah, it's a bit like ooh, yeah, gloomy. Feeling and... flat because mm -hmm. a lot of people obviously set goals, set tasks, set New Year's resolutions, and don't see the change mm, straight away enough, yeah which is huge change yeah some little things can happen quite quickly but depending on what you're looking for change does not happen overnight so it yeah. is a lot about that motivation yeah exactly um you, you're right that stick with it <laughs> yes that type of mentality you know and again not to, you know, don't want to like pee people off to say, oh, because she's like that and I'm not like that. But um, my natural tendency is I used to get called dog with a bone at work because I don't give up, never give up. So <laughs> again, I'll be like sticking with it. I should know when to give up sometimes. It's not working. And I just let it go, love. Stop trying. <laughs> but um, I get it that not everyone's like that. And actually, yeah. I am probably more of a rarity that um, people do tend to give up if that result isn't coming yeah um, that they expected so yeah you may need a little bit of support and a little mm -hmm. bit of help with that and being in that kind of support group it could be a Facebook group it could be something that you set up with your friends so yeah I was going to say just reminded me accountability buddies so yeah. if you don't want to work with a coach or a personal trainer or whatever it is that you're trying to do you know there's business coaches life coaches all different types of coaches um you maybe get with a friend and say can we hold each other accountable check in with me every wednesday or every friday and ask me how i'm doing and have i done the things mm. um and that even that can help if you get get a friend that's wanting to achieve the same results that you want to yeah. achieve and um, work together yeah. um and having that result in mind that's something i wanted to say as well before we kind of um, run out of time on this one holding that vision and holding that goal mm -hmm. um and this is why vision boards and you know th things like that work a little bit with law, law of attraction and it works is because if if you've got something that you want to achieve as we were just saying that if the results are not coming quite yet mm -hmm. but you, if you keep that held in mind and you actually print it out or you know have a picture um, I was saying this in my yoga class on Monday because I'm doing all about self-care at the minute. And I was saying, you know, don't look at Instagram models or, um, mm -mm. you know, people that have been bloody airbrushed and, you know, don't look yeah. even real and don't have them as your goal. Have like the best version of you as your goal. You know, maybe yeah. it was two, three years ago that you were or, you know, 10 years ago, whatever it was. But the best version of you, whether that's physically or whether that's something to do with your confidence, mm -hmm. um, just having that in mind sometimes or, you know, having some little pictures on a vision board of like places you want to visit or whatever it is. If that then uh, motivates you to do that task, that, that that could be a mundane task today, like say mm -hmm. if you are running your own business and it's creating some content to put out on social media or messaging somebody or doing a live that you were like, Oh, I'll not do that live today. I've not, I've got my makeup on. My hair's not, my hair's not the best. And your look, little voice is talking you out of it and giving yeah. a million reasons why you can just do it tomorrow. But if you can see, you know, on the bedroom wall, on the fridge, on the back of the wardrobe, on your journal, whatever it might be, that you're saving up to go on this lovely family holiday and that's your goal and you need to get those extra sales to, to yeah. get you there. Mm -hmm. that end goal that big vision is going to get you off your ass and do that task so mm -hmm. if those yeah. if those things that are making you delay are those little things about your hair not being right or whatever suddenly that doesn't matter because that's not as important as your goal you know what somebody's going to think of you if you stumble over your words or get something wrong is not as important as hitting your goal so vision 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 is going to be a big motivator Definitely. as well yeah. um i know when i I, I do quite a lot around motivation because obviously we're all motivated differently. Mm. Um, and 
big one for me is actually getting someone to feel the feeling if they don't get to the goal. Mm, that is a good one. I um I heard that on um a training course that I, I did a free challenge and then I bought a training course which mm. I never thought I would, but one mm. I did this free challenge and loved it with Tony Robbins. And he works with a guy um called Dean Graziosi and he mm. got us to do that task. And at first I was a bit triggered, you know, like, oh yeah. Why do you want to visualize failing kind of thing? But it was actually really it's good because so you're like, oh, well, I don't want that. And especially yeah. earlier on in the year, if you say, right, it's the end of the year, it's New Year's Eve, you're reflecting back on the year, you know, how are you going to feel if every year for the last five years you've said, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do the thing, I'm going to do this, I'm going to have this, I'm going to achieve this, and you're there again. Yeah. Now, it's, next yeah. year you know that kind of uh, stomach churning icky feeling yeah. can be just a catalyst to stop that procrastination yeah exactly mm. you know just it's like a snowball if you procrastinate today you're just going to do it again tomorrow and then like i said with the washing it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger mm. so if there's something that needs doing today do it just do yeah. it and have like your journal or your diary. You know, I use an electronic diary now, which I love, but I still have a little, um, I actually got this a couple of weeks ago. You can't see it because you, you're listening, but Margaret can see it. <laughs> a little diary. <laughs> but I just have in the front of it as well, like daily tasks. So there's yeah. certain daily tasks that are like my minimum tasks that I'm going to do, you know, create a bit of content to go out on social media um you know certain things get like my meditation my yoga there's there's things for me there's things for my business but there's certain things go for a walk get some fresh air that never ever am I going to let a day go by that I've not done them except maybe Sunday that I'm not going to yeah. create content and things like that that's but that's planned that's like yeah. um by design not by default or procrastination yeah. and so having that written and having that with me you know even though they're the same things every day also you've got different tasks that you can then slot into your calendar to say i'm doing that task on that day that so you, you can look at your to-do list yeah. and go like look it's not just a big long horrible to-do list that's making me feel sick it's like it's got a place in the calendar so you, you can pop things from that list into a slot into, yes yes so the... things can crop up that bump it of course but you know it you can only do your best it's a plan a plan's a plan until it's you know changed isn't it yeah but at least having a plan and knowing when you expect to do something it means that you've got half a chance of doing it exactly yeah if you if you i'm finding now more than any that certain days are good for certain things so and that's what i'm and so, as I said, certain times of the month as yeah, well. exactly. And so if you can get things. to know those rhythms and cycles, you can plan for that. Exactly. You can say, do you know what? I need to plan less things in my calendar in this week because I know my energy's low. What I actually need is a bit more self-care. I need space. I need, you know, yeah, it's yeah. brilliant. Mm -hmm. get, and if get you to know where your energies yeah. are in certain weeks, then yeah, that's my week to get, here yeah. you go, get shit done. Should have done, yeah, and that works with the planets and the uh, yeah, astrology absolutely. and all of that stuff as well. So yeah, tracking your mood and tracking your energy levels is is a brilliant one. Um, yeah, gosh, I didn't know. I still got other things really, but I think we were we're running out of time, aren't we? So <laughs> I just think it's it's a favorite topic of mine, along with like planning and time management. I've got you know all sorts of tips on this. So if anybody wants to know anything more. Um, if you are struggling with procrastination and motivation and things like that, definitely get in touch, you know, um, come and look inside um, my Facebook group, find your inner sparkle with Adele, things like that. And on my YouTube, um, because it it causes stress. It does. And anxiety. It really does. So, mm -hmm. so it fe sometimes feels a bit weird for me to be talking about time management and procrastination and things like that as a yoga teacher and a stress uh, and anxiety coach. But it's so important it's fundamental to that you know it was one of my biggest um wins learning yeah. how to manage my time learning how to prioritize and to don't procrastinate and just get get things done get one thing at a time done yes you know try don't yeah. try to do everything Focus. all at once Focus. yeah so there's there's so many other tips but yeah 
we'll leave it there for today but hopefully it's whetted people's appetites and motivated someone to just get something done done yeah definitely the ironing is looking at me now <laughs> <laughs> get it done get it bloody done yeah definitely <laughs> Thank you so much, Adele. Very, very insightful one today, I felt. I don't know about you. <laughs> yeah, I think all of our conversations are wonderful, but then I am biased. <laughs> <laughs> so if you like this week's podcast, please do let us know. Comment, uh, like, and let us know what you may like us to discuss in the future. But um, we will leave it there today, Adele. Thank you so much. Thanks, I'll see you all next see time. You on the next one. Bye for now. Bye.